Welcome to Upper Trosland Baptist Church, located in the South Wales town of Pontypool. This church has been in existence since 1736. What started as a church house group among the new Baptists in Pentagon area quickly grew and thus a church building was needed. Under the first minister of Miles Edwards, a house at Trosland was purchased and opened as a church in May 1779. After the death of the second minister, William Edmonds, a new meeting house was built at the upper end of the burial ground. A gallery church which could fit 350 people. The new building coincided with the call of David Roberts in 1820. Now, in 2020, we are celebrating 200 years of this building. Through two world wars, nine monarchs, times of plenty, times of struggle, and even pandemics in 1918, and now in 2020. This church has been a presence in Pontypool with a mission to preach the gospel and engage in social development through all that time. To tell you about its life and its activities is Pastor Richard Miles. Well, as we're here today celebrating 200 years of this building, I'm sure that those who were here 200 years ago would have had no idea as to what things would have been like today. The very fact that when we meet at the moment, we have to wear masks and be social distances, that we're in the middle of a coronavirus, that would have been totally unheard of. Although, of course, over the years, those coming to the church here would have seen various different things happening, ups and downs, highs and lows. But the one thing that certainly is true is that God has always been with his people as they've met here at Trosnant. Faithfully, over 200 years, people have met to sing God's praise, to hear his word, and to benefit from what he says to them. And we can praise God because over that time as well, so many people have come to put their faith and their trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. And so as we think back over all those years and the faithful ministry that's taken place here, first and foremost we thank God for his goodness and what he's done over that time. But also we look forward to what he's going to do in the future and we trust and pray that for 200 years future or however long it is going to be Uh, that God will continue to be here with us. He'll continue to prosper the work and that we will continue to see people meeting here for fellowship and worship and above all seeing people come to put their faith and their trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. So today let's look back with gratitude and forward with expectation.